Well, I had a kind of a major issue going on with the jet boat engine. I found water in my oil. That ain't good. So I started looking around, uh, just trying to narrow down and eliminate all possibilities. The first thing I thought was, okay, maybe it's a head gasket. So I took a compression tester. I checked all four cylinders and nothing looked abnormal. All of them had close to the same amount of compression. In addition to that, as I pumped up each cylinder on the compression tester, I left it pressurized for about 20 minutes on each one to see if it leaked down. Maybe a couple of PSI here and there, but not enough that it would be like a head gasket. So eliminated that. Second thing I thought was, okay, maybe it's the oil cooler because cooling water comes into the bottom of this oil tank here and there's heat exchanger plates and all kind of stuff in there that cools the oil down. Thought, okay, maybe it's a breach in that. So the outlet hose that comes off the oil cooler right here, that goes up to the head pipe, I, uh, I put a fitting in it and I put a 15 PSI pressure gauge because generally at full throttle, this thing has about 15 PSI water pressure according to the gauge on my dash. So I figured 15 PSI would be a good test pressure for that. Hook the garden hose to the inlet at the bottom of this Pressurized it up to 15, left it pressurized with water for about 20 minutes or so, no loss of pressure, okay? So it's not a breach in the oil tank. Um, there's another thing in here. There's a cooling pipe right here that goes into the valve cover, and there's a couple of O-rings on that, or one O-ring actually, um, said that can go bad and cause it talk with a mechanic, he says when he does these engines, he puts two O-rings on that fitting. So I pulled that out, I replaced two O-rings on that. But I'm still thinking, well, maybe there's something else I'm overlooking, you know, and the problem with this thing is the way it's designed, there's not a drain plug to get the oil out. You have to use an extractor to get it out and it still leaves some in the bottom of it. So in order to get all the water out of your oil, you have to cycle like five or six gallons of oil through this thing until you finally get to clean oil. I'm like, you know, I don't wanna to have to do all this again. You know, is there something else that I'm overlooking that's gonna crop right back up and put water back in my oil and have to go through this process again? So I started looking and somebody said it is, there's an exhaust joint right here that looks like this. And that can fail and put water in the cylinders. Part number 14 there. Well, you have to take this whole air box assembly off to get to the head pipe to take it loose to break that connection to get to those parts. I didn't want to do it, but I did. And I'm glad I did because once I pulled it apart, here's what I found. Look at this shit. That has separated. So I replaced that part and I'm thinking that's it. I'm hoping that's it. Pretty sure it is. Cause I mean, that's the only thing that that's really obvious. Even the O-rings I replaced on that valve cover, you know, they were a little bit crudded up with corrosion and stuff, but they weren't, they hadn't failed. This is a failure. This right here, is probably where my water and the oil is coming from.
the old exhaust manifold pipes had severe electrolysis and corrosion through it. Pinhole right there. Um, so <clears throat> I tried to order some new ones. Part no longer available from Yamaha, which, you know what? That's actually a good thing because I know the bastards would have raped me. I'm sure that these two pieces here together, they probably want 800 to 1,000 bucks for that. So I looked around on eBay and I found used ones in Japan said used clean and the picture that they showed is exactly what I got they're used but they are clean look at those flanges and the crazy thing is I just ordered it the other day and it got here today and that's what it cost you see the shipping was $62 but Hell, it come from Japan. I mean, and the thing is, is $62 shipping, that's nothing compared to what they probably would have charged me with, you know, the Yamaha factory parts. So, yeah, used parts for like 200 bucks. Yeah, definitely. And if you don't believe it came from Japan, look at this. <laughs> here's, a, here's the newspaper that it was wrapped in. I don't know what all that says, but that's definitely Japanese newspaper. Anyway... So, I got my head gasket yesterday. Today, I've got exhaust manifold pipes to replace these ratty-ass old ones. So, each day, I'm getting a few more parts in hand and won't be long before I'm putting that motor back together. Moment of truth after all the work. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Guess what? Full one zero is back running again, baby. Hell yeah. 